Hi everybody, if you're watching this, that means it's time for the Sunday Makeup Basket. Um, as you can see, I have my pal Max here, who actually isn't being uh, the best dog ever today. Lots of barking and whining and crying. Um, I'm actually not having the best day myself. Um, I just got a lot of work to do in the house and a lot of the projects that I wanted to get done, I just haven't been able to get done. Um, and I don't, I really wanted to get a jump on the painting and I just haven't been able to do it. And my husband's been away like every weekend and I just finally said, you know, in June, you're just gonna have to stay home. Like you're gonna have to stay home on the weekends and you're gonna have to stay home at night and you're gonna have to help me out because I cannot get the work done that I need to get done for our house. So that's been frustrating, um, a lot of stress at work, big conference coming up, um, which really has so, probably so little to do with me specifically. It has to do with my department, obviously, but not very much to do with me. So I guess for me, this, since this is my first time, there's been a little bit of stress. Events are things that I've done in the past, like I run really big events, this is not um, a big event. Um, there may be 150 to 200 people there. And I think probably the, the thing that I, I'm having the most trouble with is that I have to get approval on everything, but that's because it's my first time. I think next year at this time, it'll kind of be like old hat and um, I'll just be able to go on and do what I do and not have to worry about waiting for approval from this, getting a signature from that. Can we do this? Can we do that? Like, I'll just know. Um, and finally, I was hoping to have my hair done this weekend. I really am hoping to go blonde. So I ended up calling the salon that I went to when I hair modeled to have it done. And the first time I called, I left a message and no one called me back. Uh, the second time I called last night, someone picked up and I was telling her about who I was and what I was doing and you know told her you know I got a little ambitious I tried to color my own hair you know I put some toner on it so it's I think it's okay now it's been like almost two months and she proceeded to cut me off which as you know I do not like people interrupting me when I'm trying to speak especially when I'm trying to explain myself and proceeded to tell me what I needed um, in terms of color correction and blah 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 and then you know, said, well, you can come in, but if, if you need this, then that person's not going to be able to do it and you'll have to wait. And I just said, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. Um, that's the good thing. I have a choice. I don't have to go there. It's unfortunate because I did want to go back there um, and have my hair done, but I won't be going back there. It's simple as that, which is a shame and I think if the owner knew he would probably would have taken a different approach um, because really if that conversation could have gone super well um, because I'm the type of person that's willing to spend money on my hair um, but definitely not going to spend it over there anyway let's get to the products for my foundation it looks like it's going to be spring here um, headed into summer fairly quickly we actually have a sunny day outside, which is great. Um, I'm going to be heading out soon, much to my puppy's dismay, but I'll be back to take him to the park for sure. Um, so I'm going to use my Super BB Triple Function uh, Whitening BB Cream, the cream, and then the powder. And these are, um, this is a Korean brand. I love it. Um, this, this cream has the traditional kind of gray cast. But what I found with the powder is that the powder is much warmer. And these are by Skin79. Sorry, I didn't tell you that before. So the powder is much warmer um, than the actual cream. So with the gray cast on the cream, you can neutralize it with this powder, which is kind of why I use them together. But this also has um, UV protection in it, as well as the cream. And I like that even better, because I can take this with me to work uh, when I want to touch up. For mascara, I'm going to be using uh, Marcel Extension Plus Mascara. This is one thing that I really like about Canada, um, the Marcel and Annabelle brands, especially when it comes to mascara. Annabelle makes a great one, and I actually um, am going to be sending a package out to someone. I'm sure she knows who she is, and I asked her if there were any Canadian um, products that she was looking to have. I'm probably going to send her some Marcel and Annabelle. Um, that's what I typically do when I send people from the States packages, is I like to include some Canadian products as well, because there are some products that you guys are actually missing out on, and the two brands that immediately come to mind are Marcel and Annabelle. 
For my eyeshadow, I'm going very, very neutral because of this conference, and I'm using my CoverGirl Eye Enhancers in Sombra with Real Zadoras. So, um, you know, I opened this and I used it today. I'm wearing it. Honestly, it's really too light for me normally. However, due to the fact that we are having this um, conference, this meeting, this event on Wednesday next week, uh, I'll wear it. I'll wear it for the rest of the week. Who knows? I may even do what I did last week, and instead of using the shadows that were in my basket, I ended up pulling out my L'Oreal Infallibles shadow in uh, Amber Rush because the, the Sephora shadows are nice. They're, they just weren't working for me. I just could not get them to, to show up. Barely any pigment. Blending was a, was a nightmare. Um, just didn't work. Gonna try uh, my Dior Nude Tan. This is in 002. I'm just trying to use these up. Um, I don't really want to buy anything unless I use things up. Maybelline New York Define a Brow. Um, this is in Dark Blonde. This pencil is really growing on me. I will always have a lot of love for my Brow Wiz um, from Anastasia, but this is actually not a bad option. Um, the color is a little bit different than the Brow Wiz. Um, Brow Wiz matched my hair a little bit better, but this isn't terrible and the price is definitely right. For blush, I'm going to use my Steel All You Need Is Love Cheek Palette, which I conveniently broke. I love this palette. Um, I love blending all the colors together. It's And it's got probably the best amount of shimmer um, for me anyway. So I don't have to wear a highlighter if I, if I don't want to. However, I have included one. Um, and it is the Bare Minerals Ready Luminizer, the Love Affair. This is awesome. I love this. This is a great um, highlight. Then for concealer, which I haven't been using lately, um, the NARS Creamy Concealer, and this is in vanilla. Two glosses, the uh, color L'Oreal Colorish Le Gloss in 160 Violet Attitude, which I'm wearing today, and what's something I got in my Influencer Vox box, the NYC Plumping Up Gloss Big Bold in Big City Blush. It's a little bit too frosty for me, but I figure if I layer it on top of something or just dab it lightly, who knows, right? So for perfumes, um, I did talk about this last week. I'm still using my uh, Mugler Les Exception um, samples. They look like this. I'm actually really enjoying these. There are five of them. Oh, so it looks like I'm going to get about um, four uses out of each. Um sample, which is great. I still wish that they had just sent me a bottle, but I think I understand why they didn't send me the bottle, and I will definitely blog, um, possibly video review these, um, because I like all of them for a different reason, which is awesome, uh, and I might actually go and visit the counter and see if I can film the actual experience there, because I think part of what these fragrances are, are an experience that makes any sense. Um, going back to my Sweet Pea Kona Foaming Sugar Scrub, they actually changed their label, which is adorable. Max likes it too. And they're using a Kona coffee now, which is awesome. I think that's great. I love these scrubs. I'm a huge fan of foaming scrubs. I'm a huge fan of local products. So, and this is another Canadian product too. It's a woman, um, a female owned business. So those are all wins in my book. I do like the products quite a bit. They also make soap, obviously. A uh, product I was sent this week that I also will be doing um, more than likely a video review on, which are always funny, um, are these Skin Envy by Pro Factor Sugar and Beeswax Strips Hair Removal for Face and Bikini, because I know how much you all like to see me wax my upper lip and my eyebrows. So we'll see um, how that goes. These are the kind that are already pre um you don't have any have to dip anything. It's not a liquid. They're strips. So you warm them up in your hands, apply them, and then rip them off. Then uh, something I got from Clarence, which I am so excited about, is uh, Nukes. Um, I don't know how to say that. Um, it's their oil, their dry oil for body and face. And this is their special edition. Um, I don't believe this one's out yet. I know they've done this in the past where they do a special edition bottle. It's the same product. It's got a special edition um, design on it. But I've always wanted to try this. And I'll be damned. Every time I go into 
a drugstore to try this, the sample or the tester is completely empty or I can't get that last drop out. So it's got to be a good product. Somebody's using the heck out of it at every single store I walk into. So I'm going to give it a shot. And finally, your question. Um, I did get some good suggestions from people last week about uh, products they'd like to see me use and I will get them. I didn't get very many, which is, it, it's fine. It's not a big deal, um, but I will be starting that probably mid-June or the end of June. My question for you this time is a little bit different. I want to know what book you're reading now, what books you're enjoying now. i am got a couple on the go. There's one that I'm reading called Closing the Mind Gap, which is about how in, cor in the corporate world, people make things overcomplicated when really whatever you're asking for or re requesting from someone is, is just a very simple request. So he talks about that, the phenomenon and how to change that and how to make yourself more effective at work. I'm reading Thrive by Ariana Huffington, who um, that book was recommended to me by Stacy um, from Stacy Sunnyside Makeup. So thank you. And that's a great book about the, I think she calls it the third metric. Um, you know, basically making sure that you're not living for work. Um, that you're living to live. And then I've got a book about um, Kuan Yin, who is a goddess slash deity. And uh, I just find her story to be very, very interesting. So I'd love to know what you're reading. And uh, as always, thanks so much for watching and have a great week. Bye.